Hello and good evening. Slate to gaming here, playing the Wandering Village yet again. Today I'm going to be working on some significant reorganizing of my existing village. I have a game that's going very well. It is at day 200. I have over 200 villagers. I'm pretty much done what I want to do. There's a couple of things left to research, but nothing I care about. My problem at this point is being able to support so many villagers <clears throat> with the farming that I have available. So I'm going to do a massive restructuring where I'm going to turn as much green space as possible into a food source and uh, see if I can get in a situation where I can actually, actually manage with uh, the resources that I have available or that I'm able to you know, grow slash gather. I'm not sure how this is going to go because of course doing this is going to require <coughs> deconstructing lots of things and building them back other places. For the most part, I'm going to just try to find things that are currently in green space that I can relocate to other areas. And then we'll kind of take it from there. Wow, look at all this unused wood that I have right now. That's insane. Um, lots of housing that isn't strictly necessary. I have way, way too many, not too many, but a bunch of extra scavenger huts. Um, let's just take a look. Now this scavenger hut, for example, should not be located here. They're currently scavenging. I guess I just sent them out. I think this, I don't remember where that can be. What is this? Tree nursery has to stay there. And the compost heap makes sense to be there. The deep quarry has to be there. All right. <clears throat> um, done collector. I can put a done collector down here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put a done collector down here. And then we will move. We'll put a couple compost heaps in. Like so. <clears throat> And then we'll probably run a road right down like this. And we'll disable and deconstruct this. Disable, deconstruct. Say we'll deconstruct. Okay. I didn't pay attention to what resources I needed to construct that, and that's all right. Um, so that'll get this cleared out. These warehouses. I was building a bunch of cottages here. I'm not so sure. I guess I'll keep doing that for now. I don't think this tree nursery. No, this tree nursery is not really necessary. Let's just go ahead and disable it. I'd rather have this available for farming. So 
this one is 67% efficient. I'm going to leave it for, for the moment. That berry gatherer is really good. We're going to leave it. This warehouse is being deconstructed. Warehouses do not belong. In an area. <coughs> such as that. This has to stay here. These cottages are going to get moved. I don't know about that. That's an efficient berry picker. This one isn't. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, this doctor. We'll deconstruct. We'll deconstruct that doctor. current housing situation I have slightly more than I need I'm going to need to move a bunch of a bunch of this housing also I'm going to want to move the kitchen ooh I'd rather move this down here but I don't have anywhere to do it really I don't have a lot of room that isn't green space. I also have five scout scavenger parties going right now. So let's go out here and look at the current situation. Alright. Oh, he doesn't trust my command. Oh, because he's yeah. In fact, where is that? The blood extractor. Let's disable that. Um, I have 37 blood. Yeah, let's disable that for now because <clears throat> that's certainly hurting him. We need to. We we'll need to feed him when we get a chance. I need to do oh find enough resources to give him a cure. We do an antidote for now. Okay, I'm gonna let this run for a minute. <clears throat> Get some of this stuff deconstructed and reconstructed in other places. Doubt he's going to be willing to take my command or my suggestions, but let's let's find out. Now right, we've got more more settlers. Nope, he still doesn't trust me. Not entirely surprising. How much knowledge? I think I need more knowledge. I think you can go south anyway. Cool. Okay. So we're opening up some space out here. Let's go ahead. Take out these trees. And we're going to take down this nursery. Alright, 
more saddlers. For now, let me find my kitchen. I gotta get reoriented, reoriented here. I'm making black pudding. Let's switch over to berry muesli. We're on tomatoes. We're on wheat. Uh, where's that other farm at? And we're in beets. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and switch. All the farms to beets. I'm going to herbalist. Switching all the farms to beets and forgiving to move into a colder area. Okay, we're gonna do a cure health. Construct roads. Okay, I guess you just have to do it like this. So I want to put in a far. How efficient is this? That very place at 100% efficient, so I'm not going to screw up with that right now. We're going to put a farm right there. insane so let's go ahead and start building you know what I'm gonna have to relocate one two three four five five air wells so let's go ahead first thing and get those one two It's a food stand. Ah, it's good to have. Five, okay. We're going to start building those. Start assigning plots. For now, I'm just going to leave that road intact. We're just 
just going to assign every available plot. And we're going to grow, be growing baits there. All right. I'm just getting sleepy, and he's going to want to lay down for uh, some medium toxicity, probably. tanks up in here See if we can get those built and then we'll go from there. Uh, what we got going on here? He's gonna sleep here where it's cold. So that's nice. <laughs> Let's get some stone. short on stone this could be my biggest problem with pulling this off I think um, but you know what I'm seeing is that right here I can get another farm food Put a farm right there. Um, more harvest to grab some water. We're gonna get more stone, sand. We need sand. of water. I'm just going to have to start disabling these and mark them for deconstruction as I am able. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Poison, you say? Alright, I'll get some more doctors in just a minute. serious problem and um, I took out my two of my doctors I haven't replaced them let's just go ahead and get that going put a doctor there certainly won't hurt I wasted some materials there, but that's okay. I'm gonna hurt to have one down here. Price to prioritize those. Pro 
priority on that. Where's the other one? There. Okay, let's get those prioritized. And let's see if we can get Hanbu up and up and walking. Since we're having some issues with poison. Try to get the rest of these air wells deconstructed. Nope. Okay. Lost Woods. Dense fog covers the entrance, making it impossible to see inside. Carefully, your scavengers take a few steps into it, when suddenly an uplifting melody resounds from afar. We should follow it. And we get 30 wood. 30 wood for our trouble. Okay. I mean, these are all just completely... Completely full, most of them. I'm just going to figure out where I can put a bunch of water tanks. Um, how are we doing on mushrooms? Not good, so... I'm not going to take up any of that space. I need it for the mushrooms. Um, just let's get some more water. Some more water tanks in here. Definitely need to harvest any stone that I can find. Stone is at a premium, and I know what that means. I'm gonna have to start harvesting these spikes, I'm afraid. I've been trying to avoid that. Alright. I'm been getting those wells. Let's see what that does. We're freeing up space to put in another farm. Let's put them on beet soup because that's what I'm going to be producing right now. take out a 
section of stone road here. We'll be able to build there, and that's okay. I'm going to do it. As soon as that happens, then I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to build a farm right there. Um, looking for protection from the sun. Your scavengers walk under a cliff formation. There you meet a tribe performing a ritual dance. Let's give them water. We have a lot. And they give us corn in exchange. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Poison situation. Okay, that's, that's taken care of. Man, it's hard. I'm having a hard time keeping up with stuff. Like, where did I put those doc those new doctors at? Okay, man. I wish there was an easier way to find your structure sometimes. What's this? It's a laboratory. I don't even have enough stuff to make. All right, get that doctor totally up. Okay. So feed on go. Take a look at the research. Yeah, okay, I've got all the village, all the resources. And the only thing left in research for Ambu is the injector. I need one more knowledge and then I can research that. There it is. Make sure I'm getting people out to these, um, these quarries. No, one moose doesn't trust me. I messed up my trust with him, which I understand. Then he went that way anyway. Good. He's getting sleepy, so chances are he's going to end up laying down and sleeping before I get into the warmer climate, is my guess. I've got a, kind of a poison concern if he does that, but what are you going to do, you know? Oh, we got a farm that we need to get ready. Um, uh, we add plots and we're just gonna just go crazy. We'll probably end up having to get another dung collector now I think about it. Because with so much farming, I think if we don't have that. Then we're probably better. Maybe we're out of re we're out of, out of resources right now anyway. Out of compost. Yeah, he's sleeping, which I expected. Wait, I don't think I need that knowledge. Research, open, yeah. So at this point, there's no reason for me to go after more knowledge, unless there's just nothing else. I mean, if there's nothing else, I'll take it. I mean, 
but I'll probably might consider cutting back on the number of the post at that point. Wait, I'm gonna add more plots. Plot thickens. You know what, I'm probably going to get rid of that mon- I don't know, I thought about getting rid of the monument. We've got some poison people, but not terrible. I've got plus 25 in housing. I think I'm pumping out. Um, what was I trying to say? Pumping out food fairly well. Oh, here's a mine that I haven't gotten to yet. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh, right here's another farm. I've built so many farms that I can't keep track of them. Like where they are. And what I've got going on, or whether I've have stuff going on at them or not, and it's going to make it hard to now think about it to keep track of what's growing at each one. So I'll have to really keep keep an eye on that when I want to switch I just have to maybe pause and just go in and very carefully uh, re um, I can't think of the word not reconfigure but into the deep after traveling down to the mine shafts the party enters a huge industrial hall. Old rusty pieces of plate armor that must have been a huge creature like Ambu are lying around. These must be remains from ancient times. Let's make use of the parts. Yeah, we get plus 30 iron for it. After a long walk, the party passes a muddy spot in the desert. A brave scavenger wants to get a better look and inspects it. Seconds later, they're knee-deep in quicksand. No time to lose. We have to help. Plus 20 sand, but one worker died. We don't want to be losing workers. But, you know. Getting more sand is, is good. Uh-oh. Darn it. Yep, these guys ripped some spikes out. You're not supposed to do that, farmers. More settlers that we're going to add. Scavage there. All right. You've got more space down here. That's pretty much as much as I can do there. I, mean, I think here's the next area, unfortunately. I 
I like having the decontamination units there, but I think that I need them for space. So we're going to, um, where is that? Probably here. We'll build two decontaminators right down here. Planks and slabs. Yeah, okay, we're good there. At least one of these looks like it is not being fully utilized anyway. Um, and then we, unfortunately, we'll probably have to tear down a bunch of um, bunch of cottages. Petrified footprints of an ombu, several meters deep, mark the surroundings of the quarry. We should follow them. Plus 30 done. Yeah. Okay. Are these guys, they're still out working. Start taking that one down now. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. We can go from another quarry, another quarry. Already scavenged. The only thing I haven't gotten is this shrine. I think I might as well grab it. We entered an arid region. Okay. Farm. Corn. 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 Oh, that's not it. Tomato. Tomato. Actually, let's just do those two in tomatoes. We'll keep this one in corn. So one, two. Three, four, five, six farms. Currently, I think he's getting ready to lay down. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna want that farm to be somewhere like that. And then if I need to tear down cottages, I will. Yeah, I'm still losing losing food pretty pretty badly all right send party send party send party pick up some more nomads two more people Okay. 
I've gone through a lot of water. My herb situation is bad. Very bad. Up to 218 villagers. We've got enough housing right now. Start deconstructing some of these. If any of these are empty, or even close to empty, they're getting deconstructed. Two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, Great. Nope, he doesn't trust me. Okay. So we are finished with research. So where are the research places? Here they are. Deconstruct, deconstruct. Where do we think he'll go? All right, he went the way I wanted to go anyway. We'll have some extreme heat to deal with. I think I don't think we'll have to worry about that. But we really like to get more herbs growing. Okay, let's let's take a look at some. Where can I add more water? Right here. One, two, three, four, Start building those, and when we see those getting built, we'll clear this up. Change my kitchen. Uh, what do we got? Valenta. Oops. Uh, there was somewhere. Oh, is this? Is it mine? Here's a quarry. Deconstruct, 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 deconstruct. but we're in a superhuman environment. So that's really good for my water. All right, what do we got? More settlers. Okay. these quarries those are my priority right now I'm still 
not great on stone, although better than I was for sure. I don't think I can move this really anywhere. Let's see if I tried moving that. Uh, where would that be? Ombu Doctor. I think the best we can do is come in here and put in another farm. Like right here. And then just plant around it. I'm going to need some food. You can do with the cure. I want to send part of that oasis before it's out of before it's out of reach. Now he's getting sleepy. high ground toxicity so we're getting ready to have to deal with some poison we've got some poison people already oh speaking of which my decontaminators yeah I didn't staff both of them fully what I was afraid of okay he'll lay down so they'll give me a time to catch up on scout at scavenging As soon as this gets built, we'll design a bunch of plots. Food is still on a, a minus right now, but I am in a torrid region. But water, well, water is kind of bouncing back and forth at the moment. in here as we can. And let's see he's laying down. He's laying down. It's a currently a torrid. So what would actually grow currently? I'm just gonna grow some cactus there for the, for the time being. Um, we'll change that later. I suppose we want to get get something growing there. Arriving at the site, an old stone cutting saw looks like it could still be working. Let's try turning it on. Good, 15 stone slabs. Okay, quarry. Oh, more of a spikes just got torn out. space right there, a little bit up here. Many of my villagers are poisoned. What's the difference to many? 70, so a third? Yeah, that's... I'll give it to you. That is several. So 
So what's the situation? I'm out of herbs. I'm out of herbs is the situation. I don't want to do it. I don't like to do it. But we're going to have to disable that for now. Because we have to get herbs going. Um, what's going on with the herbalist? Yeah, that's the weather. I don't know that there's much I can do until I get out of this torrid weather. And then as soon as I do, hopefully the herbalist will start. Come on, almost there. Okay, now it's normal. Now stuff can grow again, all right. Traces of the past. Petrified footprints of an ombu several meters deep mark the surroundings. Follow it. After walking for miles, we find a bunch of dung. All right. Go ahead and grab that. Um, so, at this point, I gotta go through and check all my farms. We were growing corn, which is now at zero percent growth. Let's do wheat. Let's do wheat. Let's do tomato. There's three of them. I'm gonna try doing tomato. I'm gonna try doing tomato. Okay, good. We'll do beets there. Then we'll do beets there. And that hopefully will get the windmill of the bakeries running again. Poison situation is still bad. That's that's my biggest concern at the moment. Um, this quarry is the next priority. Take a minute, go through and get some rock, some stone. Giant tree. After walking through the magical looking woods, they arrive at a clearing. A magnificent tree is standing in its center. I want to try. I've not tried this before, and I'm going to try cutting down this tree. Your scavengers don't hesitate in getting the job done. It's hard work, but after a while they're fully packed and ready to return. All right, well done, scavengers. Okay, I think, wait, this tree, that forest. And then we can hit up this forest. Okay, he's sleeping. I think I can get him up. No can do. Yeah, poison is getting ready to be an issue. I'm gonna have people start dying. People were gonna start dying soon. I'm at 222. Um, 222 villagers. And people are gonna start dying and if he won't get up, then there's not much I can do. Alright, he's on his feet again. So hopefully no one, yep, there's the first one succumbing to poison. 
There's really not much to do. Just let's see how many yellows. Um, I count more settlers. I'll add one. That's not a lot, but considering the situation I'm in, where I'm getting ready to lose several, I'm, I'm not going to complain about about adding adding some unpoisoned settlers. the beginning of a significant uh, population um, correction. I wonder if I should be focused on another herb herbalist. And I mean, they're putting out right now. It's just going to be hard maybe to keep up. I guess let's just wait and see what happens. Down to 194. We got 80 who are poisoned. Alright, some more settlers. There we go. I had five more. Take a look at what's ahead. Oh, goodness gracious. One, two, three. I don't know how much it matters which way he goes. He's not a big fan of me right now, so I'm not going to really try to tell him what to do. Just going, to, kind of going to let it play out, and let him do what he wants. Let's see what 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 he wants happens to be. Okay, we better grab this and that. Hoping he'll run for me. Because we're getting ready to have a situation where actually my, my new doctor's disabled. I started to try to pet him. Let's hope he'll run for me. If not, a lot more people are gonna get poisoned. He won't do it. So yeah, we're we were down to about seventy that were poisoned. Let's see what this does. It's not gonna be pretty. A collapsed mine. As soon as you're scabbing your step into the mine, the ground starts to shake. Huge boulders fall from the roof and block the exit. Confident they'll find a way out, your scavenger stick to the plan. One worker died. So we're down to 190. And we're up to uh, close to yep, over 80 poisoned. Um, let's see. Let's do some grilled tomatoes. And we're still short on... We're still totally out of... Of... Um, What am I trying to say? Totally out of herbs. Pick up two more healthy people. I 
I need sand. I'm completely out of sand, completely out of glass. I think food is in pretty good shape at the moment though. Water stores are being depleted really quickly though. Into the deep. After traveling down to the mine shafts, the party enters a huge industrial hall. Oh yeah. So looking at the water situation tells me I have got to get more air wells for them. So I gotta find somewhere to put them. But yeah, I need to get. I might even end up putting some of these in green space. I don't know. I'd rather not. I've been trying to avoid that. Or I might end up taking up some some spikes. Yeah. Let's harvest these. I know he's going to be pissed about it. I don't like to do it, but... Yeah, not, he's not a fan. I'm trying to... What's this? The scavenger hut. I don't know that I'll end up putting... just gonna say I don't know that I'll end up putting anything in there but I'm at 182 off. I'm going to pick up some settlers. So I'm getting ready to do a big rebuild. And even after all that, we weren't able to build an air well there. So we gotta get the doctor re-enabled because I'm gonna have to be able to send him an antidote very soon. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna put a couple air wells places like here for now. Right around the edges, right around places where I don't expect to put in any more farmland. Alright. So the party's to there. This isn't good. He's probably going to want to lay down right in the path of this poison cloud. Yeah. That's kind of what I thought would happen.
and I've still got 60 people poisoned. And we're getting ready to get hit. Okay, whoa. He's not gonna get up for me, I'm pretty sure. What I was doing was gonna be risky. Oh, he doesn't trust me, he's just gonna lay here in a poison cloud. Alright. Smart guy. If that's the way you wanna do it, you might end up just getting gassed to death like a like an idiot. Meet the wildlings. After a long walk through the woods, your scavengers encounter a group of wildlings. We come in peace, we should give them something. Yeah, let's give them some iron. I've got some. They give us beets. Okay. Well. I guess that's something, right? Got people starting to succumb to poison again. Yeah, we're we're getting in in rough shape here. I might have just killed off my village. Come on, dude, get up. Jeez, oh, man, just gonna lay there and literally lay there and die. But I won't give him an antidote. Alright, we're gonna get more iron. No, the last ones didn't give me very much. Um, let's take this option with that. We got more iron. Come on, get your ass up. I killed like a good portion of the village by just laying there. I'm trying to rebuild a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, that's a big problem. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. Well, let's see how it plays out. Happy to lay there and let everyone die, huh? So I think I'm gonna have to start shutting down some farms due to worker shortages. It's about damn time. Oh, 
But look how many people we lost. But only 29 are poisoned now. Because we lost so many of them. Yeah, don't ask my opinion about which way to go. You're gonna do what you want, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you're gonna do whatever you want to do. Alright. With 81 people, we gotta make some. We gotta make some decisions. What decisions do we gotta make? things are not operational at the moment. Yeah, we can push that lion furnace down. Um, you can shut the forester down. Wait, I never install any plots? disable it anyway for now but I still want to get it set up in case I survive this mess I've got myself into. Shut down the glass blower. Shut down the windmill and the two bakeries. So that means I now have, I still have 81, no, I have four unemployed. Okay, we have a handful. I'm going to go north. Of course he didn't listen. Try to go. Yep, he went right towards the poison. Well, it's uh, about an hour and 15 minutes in. How much longer until everyone is dead? Probably not long. Probably not very long. And 79. I think what's going on? Oh, because I'm not growing anything at the moment. Well, apparently this one's still enabled. Yeah, lay down. Lay down there. Nope, I'm just gonna keep walking. I mean, there's no way he's gonna run for me. Through this poison forest, right? I mean, why would he? He's... So annoyed with me, he's not been willing to follow my suggestions on anything else. Deep growl, you say? Is it because you're poisoned? Because, yeah, you're poisoned. Why 
don't you run for me? No, I'm not gonna run. All right. Well, why don't you at least eat? Will you do that for me? Traces of the past. Petrified footprints of an ambu, several meters deep, mark the surroundings of the quarry. We shall follow the tracks. For a while, the tracks fade away, leaving the scavenging party no other choice than to head back. Ominous slave traders. We are not going to trade on any herbs. But I'll see if we can manage to free some people. Seven people, that helps my number some. I'm gonna have to open the farm. The um, I'm gonna have to open some of the more some of the other farms back up soon. I only have two people poisoned at this point, so we've we've gotten past the poison. It's just we lost what from two twenty two at least down to eighty six. So we lost what a hundred and forty almost, hundred and thirty eight, thirty six. Um, that's a big part of our population. And Anbu is still. He's still poisoned. But we still need herbs. Just. Very badly. I only have eight unemployed people. I mean, they're still doing rebuilding efforts. So I'm just going to try to let that continue. Three poison people, great. Uh, let's turn on the old machine. 17 stone slabs, cool. Cool, 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 okay. I'm gonna go to this poison forest and hope I get some herbs out of it. Dude. Why? Why you insist on do that? Doing that. I'm not making you unhappy on purpose. You know, I was thinking this might be my last game, but it's not going to be. Two, three. I know it's not because I've, I've already got some ideals of things I want to try next. So probably I'll be starting a new village once this one collapses. Assuming it does, I mean, it, it has the potential for making a comeback. I look at my food system. Pretty much out of black pudding or blood that I've been using to make black pudding. And then I can go to berries for a while. Charged. What the hell? I don't know what I did. Oh, instead of disabling, I said deconstruct. Oh, what an idiot. 
What an idiot move that was. Jeez, I'm glad they didn't get to it. Man, I would have been ticked off if I had deconstructed all my farms. Jeez. Jeez, idiot. Okay. You go a little bit farther, you have. Look, it's literally right in front of your face, you dumbass. It's literally right there. A bunch more are going to get poisoned because he wants to take a nap just inches from somewhere where he could actually safely take a nap. I didn't even notice here. What did I get? Uh, well, maybe they're not back yet. I was going to look at the one I sent to that poison forest and see uh, what kind of trade off I got. the only thing I've got right now. Back up to 94, but you know, it's survive this 926 water he's in good health but I guess he's just mad at least I'm not getting too poisoned Uh, okay, let's build them back up. So let's uh, let's ramp these farms up. So what does that look like? This thing was eleven. Let's go with that for the time being. Okay, this is literally all I've got. So which ones? I can't tell if they're actively. Just have no idea where it is. I would feed you if you'd get up. But instead I'm getting poisoned again. Alright, he's gonna stand up. Alright, there's some food. In fact, I'll feed you again. Yeah, see, if you were to walk this far, literally this far, then you could have had a nice place to sleep, you wouldn't have been getting poisoned, you wouldn't have been poisoning villagers. Everybody would have been nice and happy. But no, you couldn't. You just refused. 
selfish. Alright. Let me bring another. Another of those back online. We're surviving. Food's around a hundred. I've got one herb. No herb now it says. Okay, they're all getting taken over again. I hope that We're just saving that for a minute because the doctors are going to need those herbs. We're going to go. Oh, actually, we could miss this one. How nice would that be? But look what's ahead of us. It's just a, just a nightmare. No, I'm just healthy. In general. Water's doing okay, it's stabilized. Yep, I think we got a poison forest. Oh. Not good. Traces of the past, let's follow it. Got some dung. I don't have very many unemployed. I can't afford to assign anyone else to an actual task. And I could be managing the resources way better. It's just, it's so much effort. When I had 200 people, I didn't have to worry about it. And I kind of don't want to worry about it again right now, if we're being honest. Pick up some some more villagers, hopefully. I made it today 241, I just noticed. This is the longest I've ever made. And I, mean, I do still have 90, 96, um, 96 villagers now, so that is a lot. Let's feed him. three poisoned not too bad we're just gonna hit another of these and I want to see if he'll run for me I don't think there's any chance he will he hasn't done anything I'm asking him to and I, I don't know how long Six. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. Either way, either way is a problem. Go to this ruined settlement. I'd like to get the other scavengers back online, but I don't think I can afford to right now. We'll 
we'll send out some mail to pet him. I've got a lot of saplings. I wish I could do something else with them. More buildings are getting ready to get destroyed, I bet. His poison level is 67, but his health is 99. That doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. Well, there's some more people up above. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shut down this deep quarry. And I'm going to, I just realized I still have the carpenters running. I'm going to shut them down. And now I do have enough to open up my scavenger huts again. We got them all re enabled. Hopefully, I can pick up some herbs. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three. I was missing one. Um, hey, this man. The elderly woman. All right. I don't think I've ever tried sneaking past her. Let's see what happens. All right, we got some iron. Cool. Cool, cool. If I could get two more herbs to the Ambu doctor, then I would... <laughs> I don't know. And somebody needs to get to move this freaking wood that's in that. You know what? There. Oh, great, great timing. Was that? Yeah, it was the forest. Forest. So we don't have to worry about spores on the ground. We're up to ninety-six. Very few unemployed workers. A fiber poison, which isn't that terrible. Hopefully we can pick some more up there. Hopefully we'll get some from the settlement. Two poisoned. And 80, around 100 on food. Water's at 851. Nothing is in like an amazing situation, but we're maybe recovering. Maybe. I just need a lot more herbs right now. Pause for a second and take stock of. Okay, I've got three, so I'm gonna hit one out to here. 
one to here. And then probably start should start working on things like sand and iron. Hello, I've got 56 sand. Yeah, 15 iron. I have the processors shut down at the moment. So it's not gonna really matter. But it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some resources banked. Because I will need them. Let's see. Let me see something. Pause for a second. I've got a bunch of wheat. Um, 15 flour. It's not going to hurt to get a bakery going again. More nomads. All right, that's good. I just opened the bakery. It took two, um, two villagers to run. I just picked two villagers up. So 98 total. We're pretty much right where we were as far as the number of unemployed people goes. But then we just added four more. So. We're gaining a little ground there. Man, if he would go south. Yeah, he doesn't trust me. But if he would go south, maybe I could. Well, I don't know. Herbs don't do well in the heat, so I might end up losing ground for that reason. I also want to have that to contend with. So I don't know if it would have been any better. Oh, oh, oh. Let me see them the antidote. We're, so we're starting to get ahead a little bit. Well, I got one poisoned villager at the moment. Hmm. How many people do I have? Extra people. Seven, okay. It's enough I can fire up the the windmill again because I have so much flour. I can do some serious baking. And that'll help my food situation. What's the kitchen even making? I don't even know what the kitchen's got going on right now. Very muesli. Let's switch over to grilled tomato. We're in a human environment, so water stores are getting resupplied. We got some dung. What's the situation here? Are my composter just destroyed? No, they're working. Just slowly, okay. Alright, we just got some bread brought back. That's helpful. So I, you know, I'm doing, I, making a better comeback than I expected. Your half of Ambu had trust for me, but I've totally destroyed that. All right, four more, good deal. He does not have any trust for me, so I'm, I'm not even gonna expect that that's gonna be different. There, that's the mine. I mean, I'll try to get him to run here. Because I've certainly been helping him. I just don't know how long it takes to restore. Nope. Takes longer than that, apparently. Go next. Now we can go grab some stone. Oh, 
I'll go for this forest next right quick. This should be a super fast trip. He's getting sleepy and this is a bad place to get sleepy. I have six people poisoned as it is. Yeah, ground toxicity is high. Can I try... Nope, too late. I was going to see if I could try feeding him before he decided to lay down. Give him a little boost of energy. But no, no thank you. sure what's going on there. I don't know. I don't know. Um, where to go? Quarry. Maybe that quarry. Uh, into the deep. Yep. Let's use these rusty parts. We got iron. We'll be able to catch up on all of the scavenging since Ambu is sleeping. We'll go and see if we can get some herbs from some of these poison forests. So I didn't necessarily expect this is we're like an hour 45 minutes into this. I thought either things would be going swimmingly and I would just be like, alright, cool, we're good. Or it was going to completely fall apart, which appeared to be the case for a while. Um, at which point, I would just have to let it go. It doesn't seem like any of those things have actually happened. It seems like it looked like it was falling apart, and then it kind of kind of came back together. Fifteen people poisoned, though. Um, it's hard to say. I got wood. I don't care about wood. Darn it. I was hoping to get some some mushrooms from the poison forest. So let's just see how many people get poisoned before he gets up. Up to 13, 14. I mean, there's not really much to see or do at the moment. And I only have, well, I'm nine unemployed. So, that's pretty good actually. That farm, see if all the farms are fully staffed. This one isn't. This, this one isn't. Yeah, that gets me out of three out of eight people, which isn't good, isn't good at all. 25 poisoned. All right. And then he just laid there while some poison air overtook us. So that's uh, kind of wonderful. Hit up a forest, hit up a quarry. Let's try this poison forest. And I guess hit this forest up. All right, well, he's on his feet again. Let's throw him some food. You have to deal with them poison for a little bit. There's not much I can do for you. Day 254. Alright, we're puffing out the bread. The flour and the bread now. Well, 
oh look at this we're gonna hit desert no matter which choice he takes means i might be getting out of poison area for a while which is good because i've got 29 villagers poisoned The Ambu is badly poisoned. I'm going to try to treat him. I mean, honestly, given the choice, I'm going to say go south. Yeah, there's no way, no way he's listening to me, but I can still say it. Hard to know when I don't know what direct, which direction he's going to end up taking us. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. And storage is full because there's no one to carry it, not because I've really been full, full. Alright, he did turn south. So is there anything up here I need to get? I can't go to there. But oh, it's not. Let's grab some water. Let's grab some knowledge. I'm gonna have a lot of knowledge for no good reason unless there's a DLC that unlocks more things to research. Um. Oh, what? Well, this is an Aquarius, an Ambu excavation site. Yeah, let's try to find some rare resources. Stone slab is not exactly rare, and two people got poisoned in the process, so not what I would call a good a good exchange. You know what? We're not quite there yet, are we? No. I'm gonna have to reconfigure the farms though very very shortly. about what's the kitchen doing real tomato man just keep putting it out all right we just hit arid at the same time we hit torrid so this is going to completely change. So for now, corn is literally the only thing that will grow. See, there's two. Three. Where's the other farm at? Oh jeez. Six, here we go. Alright, I really need more people. Or I need to re kind of reconfigure my resources. Which is probably the right thing to do. Great, we've got a sandstorm moving across the path that we're on. You can almost bet that it's going to hit me at some point. Let's hope the Ambu actually sleeps here and doesn't wait until he gets in the path of the storm to sleep, which is a type of dumbass thing that he likes to do sometimes. Day 257, um, okay, nobody's currently poisoned, we'll get some, uh, we'll get some food and some antidotes sent out. The 
just keeps hitting scavengers like mad. Just, I think he's gonna make it to the sleeping spot. That'll be great. That'll be kind of awesome. Hey, what we got? Sounds from the deep. Before even taking a step into the mine, splatters on the walls and shouting from within imply that a tragic incident has taken place. There might be people in, the, in need. Let's hurry up and check the situation. Let's hide and wait. Nah, let's, let's rush in. One worker died, but we got 30 iron. Not a great trade since I'm short on people. And there are no settlements nearby. There's a ruined settlement. But I don't see any definite places in which I might get um, some more some help. Here's some more down here if I want to take that left path. I'm probably not going to be the one to decide. I suspect Ambu is going to decide on his own. And of course I've got some toxicity on the ground level at least to deal with if I take that route. So, not sure. Not sure about that. Getting up? Well, Alright, dude. You go for it. I'm still going to keep sending to these poison forests and see if we can get some more herbs. I think that is my number one shortage right now got so many resources just like wood and stone it's just insane look at the slabs and the not slabs but the planks it's just just craziness um, hot weather it's gonna hit me yeah You're going to get us hit. Yep, yep. From what I tell you. You wouldn't listen. I brought back some, brought back some bread. Here's another poison forest. That's in my way of clicking on that forest back there. Annoying. There's a settlement. Let's just go to it. Oh, here's a forest I haven't <laughs> done yet. Oops. Alright, which way do we think he's going to go? He's probably going to go south and get hit by this other storm. That's my guess. Although maybe that, that, nope, he went the other way. Maybe that'll hit him. But that's nice because I'm moving towards villagers. So I could have a ch chance to grow, to grow my village. Look at this sand before I'm out of reach. All right, so we're good on poison at the moment. Food's going down. But I don't think it's in like a dire situation. I'm making bread. I'm farming, uh, I'm growing corn. Here we go, lay down and take a nap. It'll be sure when we do it. Yeah, take your nap. Good, 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 good. We'll give you an antidote while you're laying there. Let's 
doesn't have received much damage if they've already repaired it, considering how few of people I have. Alright, we got some more stone. That's the forest I kept trying to get to earlier. If we could get some settlers from that village and then pick up these nomads and not get poisoned. The not get poisoned part is the part I don't expect to actually happen. But if we can do that, then we could get up over 110 at least. That gives us some unemployed people to actually do some stuff. You know, before we hit the giant uh, poison forest, the large poison forest, forgive me. Yeah, I'm going to miss that at least. So. Yeah, so that's fine. I have so much housing, it's just insane. Since I had enough, like 250 people almost. Actually, there's probably still some that hasn't been built. Settlers, pick them up. Why, yes, please. Poison Forest, why, yes, please. Try to get more water? Of course. Go to this forest out of here? Sure. All these nomads plus three. Alright. So with 112 people, that gives me nine general workers. feed him just to see if he's forgiven me and if he'll run for me all right will you run for me hey do you trust me enough to run Wait. Let me check my crops right quick. Corn is at zero percent. Darn it. It's not going to be long, or it may not be long, because I might turn into the desert, in which case I'll be right back. Right back into needing hot weather crops. I don't, I don't really care at this point, because Either way, he's got a poison forest. Just one is bigger than the other. And I got some mushrooms that time, even though I got two people poisoned. Yeah, that's fine. Which way? Okay, he's going to stay on the northern route. Which means dealing with a giant poison forest, followed by another poison forest. Okay, great. I did not see that. At the moment, I only have one. I have nobody poisoned. I have nine.
General workers. Food system. Uh, food is going down. Um, so we're making polenta. We're still pumping out the flour and pumping out the bread, though. Yeah, 31. There's a bunch of forest locations over there, but I don't need the wood. I've got uh, almost 3,000 wood. I need anything like that as uh, quarries. And I've got, what, 900 plus stone between the two tops. I got four more people. Well, I didn't expect that. All right, lay down and take a nap. You're very sleepy. Yes, 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 yes. And I can take this opportunity to give him another antidote. Okay, this is kind of ideal for me. Oh, here's another settlement. Another quarry. Yeah, if he just sleeps for a while, I can try to clean up a bunch of the scavenging that I missed out on. And after the two poison fours, I've got some more nomads. So, I, I hesitate to feel positive about this run, but uh, we're not the run in general. But the current situation, I mean, it's, it seems to really be looking up. Wow, he's already getting up, though. Darn it. I was hoping he would be down for longer. Yeah, I was hoping he'd be down for a lot longer. Yeah, I'll skip the rest of the sorry, excuse me, the rest of those forests. As far as scavenging goes. Yeah, I found some more settlers. I didn't expect five. Grab that right quick. me again but again I mean another time like he did just a few minutes ago so I got through that really relatively unscathed see how these others go Honestly, with five scavengers, I feel like I'm almost just managing, just managing the scavenging. All right, he doesn't trust me now, for whatever reason. He changed his mind. Now I'm untrustworthy. So, you know, it could work out where I could pick up two more sets of of nomads on the on the road nomads not not to mention the additional ones that I've been able to pick up that'll be super quick I've got 13 poisoned but I've got nine herbs so, you know. I 
that's not enough for all of them, but it's helping. Two poison people. I'm gonna grab that for us, it's just so close. So it's 20 after 9 here, and it's I think going a little bit over 2 hours. I may make it to 3 hours, I don't know. Let's see if he'll go south for me. Nope, doesn't trust. Either either way I go, I've got nomads I can pick up. I just would rather not deal with another poison forest. Although, if he stays north, I don't have to worry about uh, making any changes to my farm configuration. So there are advantages. He could use antidote. Probably go to that quarry. Oh, and over here's yeah, a couple of things I'd rather hit up. So let's grab the mine, and then we'll try to grab the dune. Just had a party return. And see if he'll listen to me this time. I don't know why he would, other than I just gave him the antidote. Nah, he didn't care about me. Didn't care what I've got to say. Poison forest. Um, quarry. So we ended up with 25 or so, maybe close to 30 poisoned. Hmm, I need to go look at the kitchen. Yeah, I'm out of polenta. I need to go back to, I can go to Barry Muesli for a little while. Hey, you wanna take a nap, Anbu? Yeah, take a nap. Yeah, that's very good. So this will give me a chance to farm some herbs, hopefully, and do some more scavenging. I'm really just kind of sitting and, and waiting. Check out the, the village and see anything exciting. The decontaminators are going. So there was definitely some issue with some spores taking root. Go to the mine. Um, nope, he's getting up. Where else we want to go? That quarry? That ruined settlement? Um, I think it is poison forest. We're already good on, on poison control. About to pick up some more hitchhikers, what I'll call them. Let's see, let's go check out my kitchen. I think it probably needs to be. Have it changed up. Let's go for tomatoes. All right, encounter a group of nomads. Pick them up, pick them up. Plus three. To 130, they were badly poisoned, but that'll, that'll be resolved quickly. Let's 
So, I was a high 222, then I dropped down, I know the 80, in the 80s, maybe upper 70s. That's where my population goes, now I'm back up to 130. So, not, not too bad really. I've shut down a lot of my resource um, actually 27 see I can probably start opening things like the glass blower back up I think I'll do that let's take stock of what all we've shut down um, I don't care about the deep quarry at this point. We got the furnace going again. And now the forester I do not need. Oh, there's a glass blower. Yep, get the glass blower going. Um The other bakery. That bear gatherer is not needed. Yeah. That'll help. I don't like what Umbu's health is. What's the deal? We'll send him just a cure, some food. Alrighty, we had a couple come back. Um, I don't know, sand. Quarry. Poison forest. Forest. Uh. So we're getting ready to have a decision where it's either a poison forest headed towards a desert or going to mountains and then some of the stones that but I can treat him have laxatives so those aren't actually that big of, a, of an issue. I have two people, three people poisoned. It looks like two now. Umbu could still use. I'm trying to get him to go north and just see what happens. Yeah. All right, we'll give him an antidote and also give him some more food. Try to get his health back up there because it's at what 75 percent not where i would like it i think we can get to day 300. it'd be a nice stopping point if i could get to day 300. not sure how long a day takes to to pass get some water my water stores are going back up. I'm pushing 2,000, but that's good because I'm getting ready to probably to move into a, an arid environment, maybe. You can never be sure with the mountain regions. No way they'll get to me. Those nomads have to be fast to, for me to intersect them. I'd love a chance to pick them up, though. Come on, scavenger. Boom. Let's get to that sand dune. Let's get to that mine. And look at this three, three shrines on the screen on the map at, at, 
This is a four. Actually. He's not going to eat them. I guess he didn't feel like he needed to. I'm going to go ahead and hit that because it's so damn close. Well, I said it was, and then the party wasn't ready. Uh, that thunderstorm could be a concern. Kitchen's working on grilled tomato, that's fine. We've still got, we've got both bakeries going. Yeah. All right, here comes the thunderstorm. Okay, it's gonna miss us this pass. It might come back. Oh, we got a settlement over here at the edge. What happens if two, if the two thunderstorms hit each other? That's some kind of super storm. Hey, 50 water. Well, I thought that might put me. Oh, 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 oh. Farms. Farms need reconfigured. So basically, it's got to be all beats now. As long as I'm in this environment, it's nothing but beets. Dry crumb beets. Oh, you know what? Wheat's fine. I'm fine, yep. Umbu's getting sleepy and it's medium toxicity on the ground. So he will probably lay down. Oh, damn it. Come on, run for me, buddy. Okay. Well, we're getting ready to have some damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? Why would you pick? Why do you always pick those spots to lay down? This could be bad. Look at all the buildings that were damaged. We've got 39 people to rebuild. A collapsed mine. As soon as your scavenger step into the mine, the ground starts to shake. Huge boulders fall from the roof. Roof. Fall from the roof and block the exit. Um, let's just keep keep it the plan. We lost a worker, but we got 23 iron ore. Nope, that's what I figured. So we're getting ready to have more, more buildings destroyed. This is the worst sometimes when this happens. You're, you're doing really well, and then it just works out that you end up taking a nap in the path of a giant storm. I mean... What are you going to do? I mean, plus it's medium toxicity, so I've got people getting poisoned all the while this is happening. I'll pick up some more settlers and they can <laughs> can deal they can help me rebuild. Might as well grab some knowledge while we're laying here just being repeatedly pummeled by the storm. Any chance he'll get up now. Alright, good, thank you. 
And in fact, you get food for that. Try to train him. Poison forest. Maybe we can get some more herbs because we're still running low. I don't know why that was smaller. It just like opened up all of a sudden and showed me a bunch more. I don't know what's with that. All right. Maybe see somebody there. If I had my choice, I would prefer he go south. I'm going to try to wait a little bit before I Yeah, wait till I've, I've administered the cure, which I have. He's at a hundred percent now. Surely he'll listen to me, right? What more can I do? What more can I do than get him at a hundred percent health? I, I don't. I mean, I know I did things earlier that caused him to not trust me. I, I get that. Keep seeing any scavenger shots. Okay, well south is the way I wanted to go. So I'm not gonna complain. We're good on uh, the population's poison level. I think food is relatively leveled out. Of course he doesn't trust me. He's like, what the hell are you talking about? You just told me to lay, lay down. Idiot. How about now? Yep, do it. Will you run for me? No, of course you won't run for me. So I'm still going to get hit. I mean, I tried. Uh, five more people who can help me rebuild because I'm getting ready to get hit again. Oh, I bet my scout tower is getting destroyed. And that is what's causing it. Yeah. I bet that's what's happening. And there's a reasonable chance that those um, nomads are going to catch me, which is good. Because I'd like to pick them up. Let me go look at my farm situation. A little concerned. Beets. 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 Okay, we're good there. Wheat, beets. Wheat is at 60%. Okay. Um, let's go to beet soup. Okay. Oh yeah, he's sleeping. So hopefully they're not gonna like run off. 
with me this close. That would be my that'd probably be my luck. Is they'll be right like literally right in front of me and they'll just keep moving and just go right past and I won't have a chance to pick them up. Okay, well my tower got reconstructed. Man, I'm barely out of the out of the rat zone of that. I am out, right? Surely the tail isn't gonna be a problem. Okay. Two eighty three. Wow, a cottage just got constructed. Nope, we don't care. Alright, sounds from deep below. People might need help. Hurry up, let's go check. Plus four healthy people. We have ten poisoned. But we've we've got uh, thirty-eight extra or general workers. Yeah, we're pretty good shape. I wish these nomads weren't wouldn't just keep walking right on past. But what are you gonna do? There's another group ahead of me that I can get. Hopefully I don't end up getting hit by this spore cloud. I don't think I will. I think it's going to cross before I get there. Just, just can't be sure. Sleep. Yeah, he's still sleeping. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be good for that spore cloud. So I should be able to get up over 150 at least on the number of villagers. When I started today, I had just over 200. And then, of course, I got 222 and then lost a bunch. Like a lot. Yeah, we're going to be fine there. So how things look like on the village? There's still stuff I haven't finished constructing that I cottages primarily. Hey, the laboratory finished. Can make water, painkiller, tranquilizer, energy boost. Interesting. Takes bio gas. Takes bio. I mean, heck yeah. I got a bunch of, I got a bunch of that. Come on. I think, I think it's going to move out of my way. I feel pretty good about it being out of my way. Nowhere for scavengers to go. No one is poisoned. Come on. <sighs> Darn it. I thought I would be clear. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Okay, so things like this energy boost require an injector, which I don't have. I'm going to go ahead and make some stuff anyway, but uh, 
I won't be able to use it until I put an injector in. I don't really want to do that, but I mean, maybe I will eventually. Hey, the other college got construction. Maybe I'm finished with construction projects now. What was that beet soup? Okay. Alright, we got some stone brought back. I mean, we have zero scavenging opportunities right now. Oh, no, wait. I was wrong. There's a mine that I almost missed. Is he gonna lay down? No, he's just gonna keep going. Alright, dude. Give me some food. Give you an antidote. Keep you feeling good. We're at day 287. We're approaching a group of nomads. Send parties out to these locations since I have plenty. I see two sand dunes I want to hit up as soon as I have scavenging parties back. I didn't notice that before I sent them. Maybe I'll hit up that poison forest as well. Nine forty-five here, day two eighty-seven. Yeah, we'll make it to day three hundred. I'll make sure of that. That'll be my stopping point. At least my goal is to make it to day three hundred. So I'm going to go out here in my composters and have them produce some biogas for now. <coughs> if you'll listen to me, I want to stay south. Nope, you won't listen. It was worth a try, I guess. Let's see what he decides to do. Ah, he's going towards the heat. Not, uh, not my preference. So it means I'm gonna have to reconfigure my farms again very soon. Because I'm growing uh, cooler weather crops at the moment. Oh, there's some, some rock down there. Oh, there's two two more sand dunes. That's good. Sand is one of the sand and iron. That's one of the lowest resources I have. That's not what I meant to do. Let's go here and do ambu food. Yeah, so right now things, looking at my resources, things are looking way up. Sand dune. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about that. It's not critical at all. I just like to be able to get it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Because this first scavenger is probably going to be off. Yeah, I'm going to pause and go do my farms. Okay. Let's see. We'll do tomato. No, let's do these three and corn. Corn, corn, and corn. Tomato, and we'll just keep these two in wheat. I'm going to check my kitchen while I'm here. Just making beet soup. Yeah, I can keep doing that. He's probably going to nap, yeah. 
which means I actually will be able to get to that quarry. Boom, alright, that worked. Oh, another sand dune out here. Wow. Yeah, I'm raking sand in. Just waiting on one of these scavengers to finish. Done. Yeah, look at my... Yeah, I've got 17 knowledge. <laughs> oh, man. I don't need it right now, but like I said, there's some added content. I'll just keep this safe and I'll just have the ability to just immediately research everything as soon as, as soon as I fire it up. He's on the move, but man, he's moving fast. Why are you in such a hurry? This is going to affect my crop growth, but I'm not going to worry about it. It'll affect the wheat and the tomatoes. Only the corn will grow while I'm in that. But if I go and change them over to corn, I mean, it's only going to last two It's going to last two days, 19 hours. So I guess it's a three day. Um, but I feel like by the time I switch them over, I mean, I might get around to corn in before then, but I just, I just don't want to worry about it. I'm in good shape. Look how much flour I've got. I mean, wait, 322, 128 berries. I'm, I'm in good shape on food. And it's strange to say, especially since when I quit playing yesterday, food was the, what had me the most worried. And that's why I wanted to spend so much time reconfiguring the the village today to prioritize um, to prioritize agriculture. Let's turn on the old stone cutting machine. Stone slabs. Hey, I think they might get to me. Day 292 and I'm getting ready to pick up probably some additional villagers. What do we think? I probably won't get to 160 before I quit for the day. At least 155. If I take this path I might could get to 160. Intersected with them, pick them up. Two people, so 154. I'm just gonna do that since it's so close, but I'd really like to hit these. All right, here we go quarry, 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 and then the next one becomes free. It's going to this um, oasis. If you listen to me, I'd like for you to go south. He doesn't like me. I'd still like for you to go south. And while I'm thinking about it, here's some food. Here's a cure health. I'd like him to go south for three reasons. Those, those nomads. Well, I was going to say I wouldn't have to reconfigure my farm. I am going to have to regardless because I'm leaving the desert out of the way um, to, and avoid the poison cloud. I'm up to 134 herbs, so okay, never mind. Never mind, we can deal. As long as it's 
not going to be just one right after the other or as long as he doesn't try to lay down and take a nap in the middle of it or something stupid day 294 probably not going to make it to the 155 villagers like I hoped that I might before I quit for the day I don't think I'm have anything to scavenge that will be likely to turn up any additional villagers, but it could if I get one of those decision um, those decision boxes. Sometimes those will give you added people, no matter what the environment is. All right, of course, another poison forest right after the big one. Oh yeah, let me pause for a second. I bet I've got a bunch of biogas now, don't I? Um, no, I don't. Because I didn't have enough dung? Okay. So never mind. Right, it's still it's still torrid right now so I guess I'll leave the crops as they are uh, where I want to scavenge water from over here stone from over here uh, day 295. Wow, there's another intersection coming up. Let's pet him. Let's see if we can pet him before... Nah. Well, maybe. Maybe right as soon as... He enters it, I'm gonna pet him, and then I'm gonna be like, get the fuck out of there. I literally just petted you, and you're like, nah, nah, man, I don't trust you. I don't trust you at all. So that's how much damage that did. Oof, 44, 45 poison villagers. 40 at 9, 50, Jeez. what a jerk, what a jerk, you just, because you didn't trust me, 50 of my villagers got, got poisoned, and I'm afraid to even look at how badly is the contamination. Okay, well, I glance, it's not terrible. He's hungry. Oh, he's getting me a nap, so never mind. Um, I'm going to do that for us just because it's close. Do that forest. We'll do this. Oh, no, let's do this poison forest. Okay, we'll do that poison forest. Because I am using a bunch of herbs right now, I assume. Wow. Down to just four? Two? Wow, man, my doctors are being super efficient. Alright, go docs. Right, he's already up and moving again. Um, I'm just gonna feed him, and I might as well give him an antidote. Yes, 
let's hit up this forest. Let's do a set 18 knowledge. <laughs> this is crazy. It's just completely insane to have that much. Just remembered. I've got farms going. Or maybe I don't. Now I'm okay where I'm at. Okay, we're fine for now. The 297. All right, will you run for me this time? Hey, good boy. Yeah, good on, boo. So as you get out of it, you can go back to a walk. I'll give you an antidote, just to, just to thank you. I'm gonna stay north just because it will be easier. Uh, although those guys are gonna cross the southern road. Wow, look at all these quarries. That's awesome. Day 298. So we're getting close to our stopping point for the day. So we just hit up four new quarries. We've already got over a thousand raw stone. I don't think I'm going to need any of it. Um, it's like the game is now becoming about this and the village is just it's just me and, and the ombu and the village is just doing its own thing. Changing up the farms occasionally and that's it. Oh, depot this. I might should stop. I might have the lab cool it with the uh, the energy booster. You know what? I'm gonna have them do some painkillers right quick. Harvesting the blood, and I'm not going to do a lot of it. Yeah, I keep watch his health. Um, six. Yeah, it takes three. Seven. Do one more. All right, we're shutting it down. And that's on painkillers. Okay. And we're gonna give him a cure. All right, we've hit day 300. Let me get through this. Some mushrooms. Two up poison, but twelve mushrooms. Some stone, some stone again. Yeah, he didn't trust me, probably because I just harvested some of his blood, which you know it's a reasonable, probably a reasonable, reasonable way to respond to somebody harvesting your blood. I don't feel like I can complain too much about that. Thirty-seven people got poisoned during that. Mm. 
but it's been taken care of very quickly. You know what? I bet he'll sleep here, and this would be a good place. It'd be a good place to stop. It's day 301. I thought it'd be on day 300, but. sleeping there. Uh, that's what I meant to click on. We're ready to make painkillers. Just need it carried over there. Take a screenshot these resources which I think are insane and then um, I think that's it I think this is where we're gonna call it for the day Let me save Let's save I have called good village all right and there we have it so day 301 154 I believe it was villagers um, things looking pretty good. So, uh, as always, I appreciate anyone, everyone who dropped in. Always glad to have you here. I, uh, think I'll probably end up picking up tomorrow with this. I didn't think I would, honestly, at first. And then I thought, okay, I will, but I'll probably start a new game and try some new strategy but now i think i might continue this one for a short time i've got a few things going on uh, like using the lab so i'll probably like to get some biogas and uh, so i can at least use that in the lab as well um probably tomorrow around the same 7 or 8 p.m eastern i'm guessing uh if all goes like most days have been going here lately uh, if you want to check me out, please, uh, please do. I'd love to have you back. Sign up for notifications or check me out on social media. Links are on the screen. If you're interested in joining the Discord server, just hit me up and I'll give you an, uh, get an invite out to you right away. And with that, I hope you have a wonderful day ahead or night or whatever it may be, wherever you are. And I hope to catch you again sometime later.